Nice, he landed right next to us. Look at that damage, yes! Got like five hits in there, clean, didn't even hit us back. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Um, I've made a decision that I'm going to try and focus as much as I can on the main quests because there are so many side quests. I will jump, I think I'll probably jump into the harder side quests in the videos just to like kind of make it more, a bit more exciting because a lot of the side quests at the moment are just fetching and like talking to people and there's not much action going on. So we're going to focus on the main quest for a bit and the common one is we need to kill the griffin so fast, for the guy at the garrison for him to tell us any more information about Yennefer and where she's gone. And the first step for doing killing the griffin is we need to get some bait. Oh to call down the griffin and also find out its weaknesses. So there's a lady in this hut who apparently has a plant I think called Buckthorn that um, can be used to bait the griffin. So let's speak to this lady. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets the red bloom. Well well one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much but I know a bit for instance that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses Small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Alright, so... We are looking for Buckthorn. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the Buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago, we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars, something, something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Him, um, Captain Peter actually does, or Nilfgaard values order. I don't think he really cares for the people. He wants order, you know, he wants this griffin in the sky to piss off so he can do his work. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who's spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Am I going to have sex with her at some point? The way that conversation ended. A bit flirty. Alright, so. The Buckthorn lies in the water. Okay, it's quite far away. I'll jump on my horse. Alright guys, it turns out the Buckthorn is not actually that far away. I was going to the wrong waypoint. And that building behind Geralt's head is where we just come from. And this is the water where the buckthorn grows. So, we're going to have to jump in the water, go for a swim. Hope Geralt can swim. Yeah, I think he can. Here we go. So it's going to be planted somewhere under here. So if we dive in, use our witcher sensors to have a look around. Um, I'm hoping this is it. Is it? Gather ingredient. Yeah, there we go. Done. That's all we needed. Alright, so we've got the ingredients to make the um, the scent, the bait, for the griffin. Now we just need to go to um, the griffin's nest and look around and see what we can learn about the griffin. Like, kind of see what its weaknesses are going to be. Alright then guys, we're now approaching the nest where the griffin lies. Um, that's a dead griffin by the looks of it, so there's more than one. So, okay, so the humans have attacked here. Okay, there's quite a few things we can loot here. Take as many coins as we can. Oh, good. There's quite a lot of coins there. Dead bodies, I guess, of people. Let's exa examine the dead bird. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Either griffin must be a male. Hmm. So, we can examine wounds, determine the age... Determine the type of griffin. Let's Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. 
Yeah, so no wonder the griffin, the male griffin, is going batshit crazy killing everyone because he's fucking killed his wife. Beak tips worn, gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Alright, and now the type. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Alright, so I think we're all done. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Alright, so preparing for combat, never underestimate your opponent. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. So we can visit blacksmiths and armourers to um, get new armour and weapons. So, um, yeah, it's just telling us to prepare for a fight now, so I'm guessing the next quest is going to be the battle against the male griffin. This guy's got a sword on him. Alright, so um, we've got to meet with Vesemir next, which is the other witcher that's travelling with us. So let's jump on a horse and head back. He's probably still in the um, the inn where we left him. So we'll head over there and we'll go looking for this griffin. Alright then, so we've arrived back at the inn where we left Vesemir. He's still standing outside, so we're we'll heading. And we'll make our way towards where the griffin is, I guess. Plant some bait. Yes. What is it, Wolf? I've accepted a contract for the Griffin. Been on the path for half a year now. That's just like a ongoing conversation, that one. This one um is about the quest, I guess. Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Um, got some information about the Griffin. I've got some book phone ready. We'll probably have to say both of these, because it's what we've done. Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. And we also got some buckthorn. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. Let's do this. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. So, to prepare for the fight for the griffin, brew the thunderbolt potion. Alright, so I'm guessing we just learned a new potion we can make. That's going to help us in the battle. This is just a quick tutorial on showing us how the alchemy works. Um, got a quite a good understanding of how it works. In between this, like the last video and this one, I did quite a few side quests and um, like alchemy stuff. So yeah, I've already learnt these three potions because they had the materials. So this is Thunderbolt, um, increases attack power, and it lasts for 30 seconds. So we'll make this, that'll be coming handy um, during the fight. Now we need to equip the potion. So if we go down to this, the potion here, Thunderbolt, and I think if we use like food in the top, up, up on the D-pad, and then we put potions in the bottom one, that would be the best way to do it. And the good thing about this game as well is once you've made a potion, um, you don't need to make it anymore. It Come just every time you meditate, it refills all the potions that are like not full. With uh, you need materials to do that, but I think it's quite a common material that you can use to fill them up again. You don't have to get all the ingredients required to make the potion like you did the first time. 
So the griffin, um, where we're going to fight the griffin is not actually too far. So we're going to just ride over. We've arrived already. Here we go. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Alright, let's do this. I'm a bit nervous. Let's start. It's... Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Oh god, that's the bait, isn't it? A sheep. You stuffed the sheep with all the, um... The plants that stinks. Get messed up. Isn't the Griffin just gonna pick up the sheep and fly away? It's closed. Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, like this. Oh, crossbow, nice. A crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. Hey, I'm talking for traditionalists, gambling well, well. <laughs> How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking, got a griffin to kill. Watch out. Okay. Um, quick access menu, access the quick access menu. Um, we've got the crossbow we can use. And now we press R1 to let the loose a bolt from your crossbow. Alright, so I'm guessing when it flies in the air we can shoot it. Actually, okay, before we fight this as well, I'm going to go into the glossary. And the beastery, it tells you the weaknesses of the enemies. Just got to find out. It. Oh, there we go, here's the griffin. So he's weak to grape shot bombs, which we don't have, I don't think. And we don't have that oil either, <laughs> so this is going well. We do have the sign, of course, the R sign. I think that's the pushback one, isn't it? The um, telekinetic. So we'll equip that and use that in the fight. So it's the blue one. Um, telekinetic blast, yeah. Alright then. So let's do this. Whoa, okay. I think if we lock onto it. If he comes in for the sweep, we can maybe shoot him. Like this. Okay. We landed anyway. Use the blast. Okay, now he stuns him. Let's get out of there. Oh god, oh god. Let's blast him. Oh shit, he hit me. Whoa. Okay, just a, happened to um, avoid that somehow. Whoa, my god. How'd you avoid that? He just dives at you. Need to eat some food. Well, let's try and shoot him as he flies towards us. Need to have him flying like in our direction so we can get a good shot on him. Why is my sword not out? Oh, there we go, he's landed. Why is my sword not out? What the hell? Why has he got his sword away? Put your sword, bring your sword. Here we go. Fucking hell, that was a bit of a mishap. I'll try and get. Oh god, he's coming at me. You can't use your sign and sprint at the same time, it uses up stamina. Right, let's get a shot on him. Right, you, you st there we go, we got a shot on him. Hit him a few times. Use a sign, hit him again. Right, let's get out of there. Nice, oh, okay, he hit us still. 
So we are getting some good damage in. He's got a lot of health, hasn't he? Like loads of health. Whoa, that's a big hit there. I think you just got to be very patient in this fight. I think we've got plenty of food, because we've been picking up quite a lot doing the side quests and stuff. Right, let's get the shot. Okay, I was reloading it. Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, you got to make sure that the weapon's loaded when you shoot it as well. Whoa. In danger, in danger. <laughs> oh. This is not good. Alright, we got one bar off it anyway. It's got like three bars of health. Took the first one off him. Now he's stalking us. I'll try and get this um, sign available again so we can hit him. Whoa. Oh no, my god, I'm almost dead. I'm actually going to go into the, op the inventory and try and eat multiple foods at once just to get my health back up because it's so low. Um, usable items. Here we go. Let's eat some bread. Can we not just use it? Yeah, because squares consume. Here we go. Oh, we can't use it during combat. What? I guess we'll just have to do it the... Just got to be careful then. Alright, so he's in the air. Try and avoid him as much as we can. I can actually switch that water into food. Because the water doesn't really heal you that much at all. Wolf's liver seems to heal you quite well, I think. Wait, hey. Whoa. Oh my god, this is dangerous. I'm a, yeah, wolf's liver heals you way better than water. Look at that go up now, the health. Right, he's landed next to us. Use the potion as well. Stun him. Where's he going? His health disappeared. His health bar. Don't let it get away. Oh, right now he's, he's on the run. Let's chase him down. I mean, I'm going to just quickly see if I can meditate. I don't think I can. I can. I actually filled my potion. That's good. So we <laughs> we actually waited an hour there. <laughs> the griffin's over there for an hour while we refill our potions. And he's happy to wait and wait for us. Hopefully his health didn't fill back up. So it seems like this is the second phase of the fight. He moves on somewhere else and you got to fight him again. So uh, let's try and finish him off over here. Bleeding. It'll weaken soon. It's bleeding. That wasn't a great shot. Stun it quickly. Hit it twice. Run away. Yeah, you just got to be super patient in this fight. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, did he actually hit me then? I don't think my health went down. Which is quite crazy. Alright, let's let him fight it for a second while they get the sign back up. Let's see what he's doing. Alright, he's going to fly away. Alright, when he comes in for the landing, we'll shoot him. Oh no, I think we did shoot him, but he hit us as well. Right, that wasn't a good attempt. Right, next one, we'll get him. Then we'll use the potion as well. Let's get in there. Use the sign, hit him again. Okay, that's, that's, that's enough. Right, we're, we're into the last bar now of health, so it shouldn't take too long to kill now. This is not bad for a first attempt, is it? <laughs> right, let's use the sign. Yeah, he didn't hit me with that. That's quite good. He kind of pushes you away, but doesn't do any damage. Whoa. Nice. He landed right next to us. Look at that damage. Yes. Got like five hits in there. Clean. Didn't even hit us back. Right, he's flying off again. Oh no, he landed straight away. <laughs> I'd like it if he flew away now. Let's just stun him, knock him a few times, roll away. 
I think that move might be glitched. I think he's meant to damage you there, but it doesn't do any damage. It's a bit weird. Oh. That's a new ability. Right. Is he going to come in? I think we should be better get back on the field. So we've got more space. Right, I'm going to fly in now. We'll get him. Missed. He went for the other guy instead. So he wasn't over me. Whoa, that was lucky. Whoa. Let's get the sign ready and we'll push him back as he gets too close. Oh, hit me. Yeah, this wolf liver has saved my ass right here. The amount of health it gives you is so good. Right, let's finish him off. Here we go. We got him. We got him. Yes. Done. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Live and learn, like what? I would say I done a good, did a pretty good job there. So, um, like what? I want to see what he's got to say. <laughs> For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Sweet. So take a trophy from the Griffin's corpse. This is what he dropped. He dropped some dust, some feathers, an egg, a mutagen, and a trophy. So is he going to take his head off? It's not a very sharp knife, is it? For, for cutting a head off. Has he got his head? Okay, yeah, his head's gone. What's this? Oh, plant. Alright, so, oh god, the head's on the horse. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> there's tongues hanging out. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Um, Alright then, guys. So we killed the griffin in one attempt on the hardest difficulty, Death March. Not a bad um, execution right there. So, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll continue in the next video by taking the head back to the the black ones, the Nilf Guardians, just to, and then we'll find out more about Yennefer and where she's gone. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.